Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, in this video we're going to see how to perform a one sample t-test. Um, so the, what we are going to look at here is a distribution of one variable which is uh, called extra here and what it includes is uh, the extra hours of sleep uh, in a sample of people who have um, received a soporific drug and so uh, we here have how many hours uh, they slept. So if it's positive, it means more than they used to sleep, and if it's negative, it means less than they used to, to sleep. And so, because here the hypothesis would be that um, the drug, the soporific drug works, then we expect to have um, extra hours of sleep. So in other words, a mean uh, for this extra variable that is higher than zero. So how can we test whether uh, this mean is significantly higher than zero and how can we look at this uh, mean here? So we're going to use a one sample t-test. So let's click on analyze Compare means compare Means one sample t-test right here So we click on that I'm going to reset that so it should look like that and uh, so here we essentially in this box We should put the variable that we want to test is only one here and that's this one extra hours of sleep and here we write what reference value uh, we choose that's the mu zero often called mu zero in other words that's the value that we want to compare our mean to so here uh, we said that that value was zero because we expect that we have an increase in hours of sleep so in other words we expect that the mean is higher than zero sometimes our reference value could be uh, something else than zero that's it. We'll just click on OK. And here in the output, we have essentially everything. So we have uh, the T value here, um, degrees of freedom here, and the P value here. You see the P value is higher than 0 0.05. In other words, here we have a mean that is non significantly uh, different from 0. Um, here you have the mean difference. So that's the difference between the mean as it is observed and the test value, so in that case test value is zero, and therefore this mean difference is in fact equal in that case to the mean, of course, because we compared it with zero. And here we have the confidence interval of uh, this uh, difference between uh, the, mean the mean and uh, the mean, uh, the reference value zero. Um, we also have here other descriptive statistics such as the sample mean, uh, standard deviation, and standard error of the mean. How can we test the assumptions of one sample t-test? Well, uh, the main assumption here is that uh, the underlying distribution of extra hours of sleep is normal. Uh, in other words, this, the distribution of extra is normal in the population. So the way we can notably look at that is by using uh, normality tests um, to test to see if that uh, distribution is significantly different from zero. And so the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to analyze descriptive statistics explore we're going to choose extra hours of sleep here as our in our dependent uh, variables and then I'm going to click in plots and I'm going to choose normality plots with tests right there and then continue and continue I'm going to have a lot of output here, but not only here. You see that I have the tests of normality, Kolmogorov span of tests. Uh, it's, in, uh, it's in fact a, a Lili, also called a Lili force test, in fact, because it's, an, uh, it's a Lili force corrected test. And so the p value is 0.2, so we have a distribution that is uh, non significantly non normal, which, is, which means that the assumption is not significantly violated. And we also have uh, the Shapiro wheel. Test which uh, gives us here the same, uh, which leads to the same conclusion in this case. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching.